Thank you for joining me today. Home office or sitting for long periods of time can be just really, really hard on the body. So today we're going to work a little bit of core work because that um, basis is just really important for our backs, for our posture, and it tends to reduce um, back pain and tension headaches. So we're going to be working there. Um, today we do not need a chair. We just need our mat. So I'd like you to come down to your mat and into what's called an all fours position. So our hands are right underneath your shoulders and your knees about hip distance apart. And let's start by rounding your spine. Just taking your breath, rounding and going to the other way. The range of motion from rounding to lengthening is just depending on how it feels nice to your body. So if it's a little bit smaller than mine, go ahead and do that. Really feel free to experiment and see what's working on your body. Let's do a couple more of these. So we're just mobilizing through the spine. Breathing however you want. We're going to find our what we call long neutral spine. So what I'm thinking about is my tailbone reaching back, top of my head reaching front. We have a little bit of belly tension in that. I'm trying to pull my belly muscles up so that I'm supporting my back. And here stays long. So we're not like this, but really, really super long there. From here, tuck your toes underneath you. And with an exhale, or any breath, lift your knees a little bit from the floor. And then bring them back down to the ground. All right, so it's harder than you think, right? So <laughs> lift those knees, perhaps from the floor, feeling that strength in the core muscles, your center. You'll also feel them in your thighs, that strength. Bring it back down. Let's do one more and stay there if you can. So the belly muscles are pulling in. I feel like they're hugging my spine. I still have my long, long neck here, so that I'm not letting my neck hang, but that feels supported. We're still up there, friends. We hold for another four, three, two, one. Bring your knees back down. Oh, let's just pick up our body and circle those wrists out. Excellent. Let's come right back into that all fours. This one is not quite as uh, quite so much strength. It is a mobility exercise now. So we're going to reach one arm up towards the sky, pressing the other one down towards the floor. So you feel that opening through the chest. And bring your hand down and twist to the other side, taking a big opening. And bring your hand down. Good, and we just continue that opening. Remember, the range of motion is as big as it's comfortable in your body. And maybe after a few repetitions, it gets a little bit bigger once we are more warmed up. One more time each side. During all of this, I have this light attention through my belly muscles. So maybe I say about 10%. And last twist to the other side. Great. We're going to stay in this all fours position. If your wrists are not feeling good, we can also go to your fists. But here's a great place. <sighs> all right. Belly muscles are engaged. We're going to stretch one leg long behind you. And I'm looking that my hips stay what's called parallel to your floor. Good, try that out. We're going to lift that leg and lower it back down. Lift and lower a few times. Stretching that knee long, pointing through your foot if you can. And we're concentrating on this working muscle back there. So the back of the leg and your popo. Let's do a couple more like that. And then stay up there. Your leg is extending long. Your belly muscles are lightly engaged. Your opposite arm stretches over your head. Good. 
we're going to try to stay right there. And I'm thinking about lengthening my arm front and my leg back and feeling that strength in the center as I hold for another five. Four, three, two, one. Bring everything back to safety. Whew. Okay, other side. Again, build it from your foundation. Center of your body, that other leg is stretched out long. Hips feel relatively even. And we're lifting and lowering that leg. So what I'd love is if you could think about stretching your knee even more. Sometimes if we have a soft knee, we're not working to the best capacity of that muscle, the back of that leg right there. Your low back has no movement. We're going to lift that leg there. Stay there. Really stretches out long. Feel that strength in the center. Opposite arm is now reaching above your head. Take another oh, couple big breaths right here as we hold for the five. Four, three, two, and one. Bringing everything back down. Great. Let's come all the way up to your kneeling. Take a couple of shoulder rolls right there. Two and one. Great. Let's come to a seated position. And I'm going to have my feet um, or my legs bent. And I'm going to start holding underneath my knees, tilting from here from my pelvis i make myself round and i'm actively pulling my belly muscles lightly in so i think about a big ice cream scooper coming through and then come back up to seated depending on how tight your muscles are this might be a very small movement fine no problem there we shouldn't feel any pain it's okay if we're a little bit uncomfortable if you're noticing a stretch but definitely not any pointy pain. And if that's your case, just leave this exercise out. Rounding, coming back up as we get taller through the center. I always imagine that I'm like, I have a crown and I'm trying to reach up to the sky. Let's do one more. Good. If you'd like this a uh, little bit more spicy, raise the arms and you're going to do the same thing. So you're rounding through, belly muscles are engaged, and we get to a point that feels a little bit interesting. <laughs> it's all interesting. And then come back up. And we do that a few times. Rounding through, get that stretch, get that strength. And one more, and let's see if we can hold this position. So we're rounding, we're staying. <sighs> Good. Let's hold for another three, two, one. Come back up. Good, and I'd like you to sit nice and tall. So I'm going to use my hands to help my back get tall here. <sighs> Taking another big breath. So if cross-legged works for you, this easy sitting position, great. If that's not going to be what's comfortable to you, you can bend your legs or even stretch them out long in front of you. We're going to take a side bend. So we're taking one arm up. I'm lifting through the center of my body as I go to the side. And I'm going to stay here just for a moment. I'm thinking about stretching here on the side of the body and almost as if I could s like get a little bit more space between those ribs. And we're going to the other side. And your breath pattern wherever you can relax with your breath. Go ahead and try it. Where there's a little bit of body tension that stays and there's a, some other stuff we could do to let go. 
Come back up through the center. Let's take a little twist. Bringing one hand, perhaps over cross or on the inside. The other hand supports you by pressing lightly down as we spiral up towards the sky. And let's twist to the other way. Focus your eyes back there. Eyes are muscles too. And back through to your center. Let's take a couple of shoulder rolls. Raise your arms out, taking a big breath. Lift them up to the sky and bring them back down two more times like this. Thanks so much for working out with me today. I hope that helps a little bit find your um, strength in your body. If you're looking to um, to get a little bit deeper into your Pilates practice, in the description of this video is a free 40 picture cheat sheet of Pilates exercises. Check that out and grab it while you can. Thanks.